Hey all, Joe here with All Funnies and Games, and today I'll be drawing a new D&D character. So lately, I've been reading a book on medieval medicine, you know how it goes, and I also read an article about the skills that don't really feel the love in D&D. The classic example of this is 3.5 edition's swimming skill which was so unused that the game just dropped it all together in future editions. However, for some reason, 5th edition has held on to medicine. For most players, medicine is a throwaway skill. There's spellcasters for that, but what about an expert? Frustrated by the public's reliance on these amateurs who know one spell but know nothing about the bodily humors, the vital fire, Imagine our boy here, master of the ailments of the human body, watching magical duct tape get all of the attention. <laughs> Look, do you want a healer? Because honestly, most mercs who say that just want a guy who knows cure wounds. Listen here, cure wounds is not real medicine. Oh, you're bleeding out. Gee, I wonder which humor is imbalanced. Seriously, seal the wounds, resanguinate, and slap them on the backside as they head back for the battlefield. But if you start the fight with a headache, you'll leave the fight with a headache because you didn't hire a healer. You hired a first-year medical neophyte who learned two spells, slapped a caduceus on his door, and opened up shop. Your body's vital fire needs to be fed and tended, and you'll settle for someone who sees a fire and just throws more fire at it and pats himself on the back for a job well done. Never mind that he can't tell a phlegmatic blockage from a yellow bilious inflammation. And they wonder why talking to mercenaries leaves me over choleric. Not gonna lie, I really want to play this guy in a campaign. No name for him yet, but man, I'm excited. Thank you for watching. Remember to share the video with a friend and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me draw. Later, y'all.